Welcome back to Anderson Acres. It's been a really nasty day out today. So, you know, we thought we'd stay inside and maybe do something that a few people have asked me to do. And that's talk about some of the different breeds of chicken. Now, I'm not going to be able to cover every chicken breed in one video. That's just not possible. So I thought every once in a while I would do a video, a compilation of pictures and maybe some videos if I have them of the different chicken breeds that are out there. I'm probably going to mostly go in alphabetical order, but that probably will fall by the wayside within the first few because there's nothing like wanting to skip a whole bunch just because you want to do a particular chicken. But we're going to try to do them in mostly alphabetical order, at least for the more, more popular breeds. So I wanted to start by talking about the Ancona chicken or the Ancona chicken. These birds are absolutely stunning. They are named after the Italian city of Ancona, and they arrived in England, as far as we can tell, in around 1851. They were exported to the U.S. in 1888. At least that's our best guess. They do look similar to the mottled, or, uh, mottled leghorn, rather, not Orpington. They look nothing like an Orpington. They look like leghorns. But they do have their own distinct type, and when you look at an Ancona versus a leghorn, you can absolutely tell. Even if it's a mottled leghorn, you can tell which one's the Ancona because they are stunningly beautiful. They are of Mediterranean ancestry, which explains why they have a lot in common with the leghorn because leghorns are also a Mediterranean breed. Their plumage is amazing. Okay, the Ancona has a stunning, stunning plumage, and I recommend everyone take a look at them. And if they're right for you, maybe even get yourself a couple. There is only one acceptable color variety. That is uh, the V-shaped v spangles at the end of each beetle green black feather. You're going to see a lot of images. I'm going to put quite a few of them up right now just because uh, the really pretty Anconas are just stunning birds. One of the prettiest. They really stand out in the show, the show pen. The color breeds true, so you're not going to have chicks that are a different color. They all look the same, but a true truly beautiful Ancona is actually very difficult to breed. Each feather must be tipped and, prop and uh, proportional. Perfect specimens are very difficult to breed. It is not uncommon to have to breed 12 different Anconas in order to get one perfect one. It is very, very difficult. They rarely go brood broody and they're terrible moms. So do not think these are going to hatch babies for you because they're not going to. They are good foragers and they're really good free rangers which means they cost less in feed because you can just let them out and they will find their own food. They're really good at it. They're really, really hardy birds. So they take winter well, they take the heat well, but they're really, really flighty. This is true of both the Bantam and the Standard varieties. They do come in a couple of different sizes. They lay well. They lay a good sized white egg, usually 200 to 250 eggs a year. So they lay very well. Maybe they're not in the same laying category as a leghorn that can lay 300 plus eggs a year, but they're close. They lay a lot. If you're looking for layers and you want really pretty layers, this might be the right breed. Unlike a lot of the other breeds, they do have two acceptable comb types. They have the single comb, which is very much like the leghorn, but they also have the rose comb. The rose comb variety is my favorite Mostly because I live up in Canada where it gets really, really cold and single combs such as the leghorn, they do tend to get frostbite. So if you do come across the rose combed variety of the Ancona, then I would pick yourself up a couple of those if you, leave, if you live somewhere where it's colder, just because they do handle winter even better. However, this is not a beginner breed. Not at all. They don't make good pets. Okay, they're actually terrible pets because they're so flighty. They're difficult to breed. They're difficult to breed properly. You always have to hatch them yourself because their moms are not going to do it. So if you're just getting into chickens, you might want to skip the Ancona for now. But if you have a little bit of experience, this might be a breed worth picking up if you can find them in there in your area. They are a rarer breed. So if you find them, maybe get a couple because they're really, really pretty. But that's really just the basics of the Ancona chicken breed. There's not much more to know unless you want to get into showing them, in which case you have to know everything about them. 
So that's about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. We'll see you tomorrow.